The Bible class in the Connecticut State Prison by Lydia Sigoni. I saw them bending over that holy page whose breath is immortality. There seemed no sadness on their features. To their limbs no fetter clung, and they whose early years had told dark tales of wretchedness and shame lifted a calm, clear eye. Amazed, I ask, is this a prison, and are these the men whom justice from the world's sweet fellowship half sternly severed? But a voice replied, God's spirit hath been here, serene it came into the cells where guilt and punishment revet their chains, making the victim's life a hated burden and his hope despair. It came, rebellion laid his weapons down, the flinty breast grew soft, erect pro gave channels for the tear of penitence, and souls which sin hath blotted from their race, as a fool gang green, to the healer turned baft and were whole. So now with humble step, Pain and cause the measure, giving still the day to toil, and meeting every night in solitude, reflects such chastening glance which wounds the purify. There, too, doth glide fair charity, prompting to deeds divine, the unaccustomed pupil, while he cons at the deep silence of a lonely bed, his Bible lesson seeks a deeper root for Christian purpose, or anticipates glad freedom's sacred gift. Ye whom our God hath hailed from deep transgression, be not proud nor in the heat of passion haste away a brother's fault. The eternal judge himself, then by the sin of ingrid Adam moved, came not to Eden till the cool of day, and since that hour, and first the vengeful sword, waved o'er the fortified gate of paradise, men have been wayward, weak and prone to fall beneath temptation's wail, and so must be unto the doomsday burning. Then let his bitterest discipline be mixed in mercy's cup, that so the prison cell may work his soul's salvation, and the law-like schoolmaster, severe, the true and bring to Christ his advocate and rightness.